search for our next great entrepreneurs and we scour the globe to find up and coming inventors and the latest unique products like the fly fix so we've got the fly fix and boy this has been a fix for a lot of you it's already become a huge customer favorite so many of you write in and say i had this huge fruit fly problem what was i going to do i tried everything on the market now we've got the fly fix and tim wilkins is here to show us how to get rid of those i mean there's a reason that they're called pests right they yes. are so horrible and boy can they ruin your whole home. It can be embarrassing to invite people over. Well when they need a coaster for under their glass and on top of their glass to keep the fruit flies out, oh, yeah, that's no. really nasty. And when you start to think about why this is necessary, because fruit flies are not just something we're swatting away, they're actually burrowing under the skin of our fruit, which is why Riley Teeter invented this, and they're laying their eggs. That's how they breed. And a, an adult fruit fly can lay 500 to 2,500 eggs in a couple days. That's why if you don't get on this quickly, you get an infestation. Now, Ew, what a lot I'm of us sorry, that's I, so disgusting. Did you, I mean, that's a health issue. Big time. That's why they, we're getting two today under $19. They carry all kinds of diseases with them, E. coli and salmonella and all kinds of crazy things. Oh, so a lot of people, the first thing we do is we we run out and we get the disposable traps. Yeah. Two to a pack and it's money in the trash because they last, like it says, 30 days. They're disposable. They're meant to be thrown away. $10, $20. By the end of the year, $150. Ooh. Well, the last time I did that before I got this, I actually forgot for a couple days. I kept putting on the list. It's not something you think of. Yeah. And I had an infestation. So the other thing people do is they say, I'm going to try this homey remedy. Yeah. Put a little honey in the bottom of this, which is probably about $5 worth of honey right there, sure, the sure. price of that. You put a little funnel in there. It's got a hole. There's my hole. And okay. they get in, but they can still get out. If not, what you have is you have fruit flies doing the backstroke in your honey, and people go, ooh, your house is nasty. Well, and then you got to clean that up. That's oh, yeah. like a disgusting which, little fruit fly and marmalade. start over and start over. Mm. What Riley created was something that used a natural, uh, pesticide-free, drug-free, hole-free, using organic stuff here, like this banana that you know they're totally attracted to. Well, I'm gonna put a little slice of banana in here, and you can use what we call a wet bait or a dry bait. You put this in here, there's a hole on the front, and you just close that up. Now, I'll show you in a different color, but I, I think maybe you can see that. There's actually three little insignias on here. I'll show you in a different color. There's a lock, a water droplet in the middle where that's actually open where you can rinse out the fruit flies you've caught, mm -hmm. and then you open this back up again and start over and have it for use over and over and over again. And speaking of colors, we do have it available in red, green, or blue right now. The green and the blue have white on the bottom. The red is that gray. So just sort of pick a color that seems a little unobtrusive. To me, it just looks like kind of a scent, um, like an aroma thing that you're adding into your home nobody knows that you're actually catching those fruit flies okay now speaking of you would never know I didn't even know it was in there. You wouldn't even know that that looks like the fruit in there. Yeah. It's not toxic at all, so it's not bothering your real fruit if you don't have pretend fruit. And if you're using the green, it looks like a green oh apple. Gosh. You literally will not know that your fly fix is in yeah. there. And this is where they're going to congregate. Okay. And it's not just fruit. Onions, potatoes. It doesn't mean you have a dirty house. Here's how it works. So we're putting in the bait. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a minute with red wine or wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar really works. The uh, banana, the scent comes out of the scent vents. The fruit flies come in, they go down and through the holes, and they can't come out. Ooh. So that's it. That's all you have to do. So it traps them. Now they can no longer lay eggs. They don't really live that long, but boy, no. are they like little bunnies. They, they, they really have a lot of babies <laughs> My quickly. My goodness, now, they do. I have a surprise for you, and you can't see this at home, but Shannon can because this yep. is very small. Okay. The people that set this up the last time did not clean it out. It had a little bit of, uh, of vinegar still in it. Oh, you there can is see a it. bug in it. It actually <laughs> caught a fruit fly in the hall when I took it out today. Oh, there it is, climbing the side. This is how good they work. As I'm setting this up, it's catching the fruit flies wow. from all the melon that was set up in the halls. We, and that melon, that melon cutter was cutting and cutting and yeah. cutting, and there's melon everywhere. When I set this up, it started catching fruit flies that fast. Wow, so they are equally attracted to this as they are to the melons, so they're gonna get in here and they're gonna get stuck. No longer laying eggs and transmitting all the disgusting stuff into your fruit. They're a bother, but they're also a health hazard. This is the way to fix it for good. Today you're getting two, they're like $9 a piece, $9.48 a piece. Now that's a concoction. I I am not drinking, but the fruit flies think that it's delicious. They, this don't to they? them is Napa Cabernet. Yeah, what this is, is it? lovely. This is just a cider vinegar that I've got uh -huh. here, and I'm going to lock this down here. Let me line a this up. Backwards and I'm not looking. Down. There it is, sure. right there. But you can see now on the front. You see my little insignias. 
That's unlock. That's how I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm going to give that a turn to the side. That's my other one right there. That's my water droplet that I'm going to rinse. And then this actually, this next one, when I'm not mm -hmm. locked out myself, hands yeah, upside down. Yeah. There we go right there. Oh, I'm going to actually reset it. There it goes. Ah. That little lock is what's going to keep it from being spill proof. There's a little insignia right there. You see it. Keep it from being spill proof when it's got a liquid trap in there, a liquid bait. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it tipping over. So as you have it in that sort of fruit bowl, and remember, this is going to be non-toxic. It's using things that you have in your home already. Apple cider vinegar, or banana, some wine, whatever it is that's delectable to those fruit flies, they're going to get in there and they're going to get caught and trapped. $9.48 to fix the problem for good. That's why this is so ingenious. That's why once we once we saw this, we were like, we have to have to that. To reuse it over and over and over. To not yeah. wait a day to three days to four days to remember at the grocery store you need it. Yeah. To not be throwing that cash away over and over like so many of us have. Right. Now, it doesn't just come with two. It also comes with the magnet and holder. And this is important for a very cool reason. Oh, yeah, what? So I had a melon slicer myself a couple of weeks ago, okay. and I sliced probably 15, 20 melons, yeah. had all the rinds in the trash, and my trash in my house and in my, uh, my side yard brimming with fruit flies. Oh I said, gosh, I awesome. wonder how good this works. Well, I put that heavy-duty magnet in my trash can. Oh, inside? Inside the trash can, and it just caught everything. That's where they are usually. You can put this in your drain, in your right sink. There. You can put it in your trash can and go where the fruit flies are and catch them where they are breeding. In, this wow. will actually hold from inside and just stick to the side of your sink because if you ever look down inside that little drain area yeah. and they're swirling around, <gasps> they're breeding in there and they're waiting to go out and get your uh. potatoes, your onions, and sweet onions at $1.49 a pound. Yeah. No, you I'm don't not ruining my sweet onions. <laughs> Keep on one of those, <laughs> those sweet onions. Those good Vidalia onions. But everything, though, I mean, you talk about sweet onions. You talk about if you're buying organic produce, if you're buying any produce, there's some produce you need to leave it out on the counter. You're not supposed to put your bananas in the fridge. You're not supposed to put your potatoes in the fridge. You're not supposed to put, you know, maybe your oranges in the fridge or your avocados. Don't do that. I'm from California. you got to leave those out so that they ripen just right. But the fruit flies love that. They love that you're supposed to leave those out there. And, of course, those are the ones where they're going to lay their eggs. They're going to get all of their dirt honestly it's just it's making me it's just grossing me out so if it's grossing <laughs> you out I mean I honestly can hardly even talk about it because we've all had that problem and like you said it doesn't mean you keep an un unclean house it means that you've got a door into your house it means that you've got a window into your house it means you go in and out of your house they're so little you couldn't possibly catch them before they get in they are attracted to those fruits whether they're ripe whether they're not ripe whether they're waiting for you to eat whether you cut them in half fermenting smell and it's not even coming yeah. from in or out of the window or the door oftentimes they're coming in through the bags we're carrying them in because they're coming from another country they're coming from wherever they are here and they're coming in with the bags we're carrying in I want to show you one more time because this is my favorite thing today and I'll show you real quick how they blend in with your scenario you can't even plan that you cannot i can't run down the hall and try and catch a fruit fly <laughs> unpacking and setting up this setup right here Museum, a fruit fly he? actually got he's in there don't he, he does he can't get out no nope. now the beauty is not only these oh, non-toxic and these are so easy to use to reuse and reuse for the same price every time it's not you're not throwing away the disposables they are blending in with your fruit bowl. They're mm. blending in with your kitchen. They do look like either candles, votives, or sometimes mm -hmm. they look like other pieces of fruit. Sure. They're here in your fruit bowl. Look how much that just blends in. That's the red. People love the red. Now I'm going to switch this out. Let's even put in the green here. That looks like a green apple. Mm -hmm. oh, there it is right there. Now, if I had that with liquid in there to catch, oh, I had yeah. the red wine vinegar or a cheaper Merlot. I'm not using my good cab no, or my no. Pinot. Um, it's going to be spill proof. So it's very, when you get that lock feature on there, but look how much that just blends in and it's non-toxic, so it's not affecting your fruit that you want to feed your kids and grandkids. And, and then how often do we need to clean them out? Like, we just clean them out once they all get trapped? And or then more, you just more clean often than my prop guys. Yeah, well. <laughs> after each use, you want to first turn it to that water droplet, give them yeah. a good rinse, and then give them a wipe, and then put in whatever you're going to use. If it's banana, reuse just a tiny piece of banana. Melon okay. rind. Melon rind is super easy. Let's open this up. Put that in there. Um, I used uh, strawberries when they were really in season. And for some reason, they like whatever's in season. Fruit flies have very good taste. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Don't we all? But we want our fruit for ourselves. We don't want the fruit flies to get it. Choose blue, green, or red and get it home on Flex today. Huge customer pick because it works unlike anything else and no toxic chemicals. Thanks so much, Thank Tim you. Wilkins. Appreciate it. Um, that's going to catch. Just leave it.